Hey everybody, welcome. Yeah, in this video, we're gonna look at how you can make a Jamboard, like the one you can see on your screen right now. It's a puzzle where they have the students will get some words that are jumbled up and they have to unjumble the words and then also figure out a phrase at the bottom. So for example, uh, this second word right here is cebolla for onion in Spanish. So it'd be C-E-B-O-L-L-A. So you notice that first word letter right there is a C, so it's number 20. So they come down here to the puzzle, find the 20, and then they put a C right there in that box. And then when they're done with all these words, they'll have this phrase down here at the bottom and you get to choose uh, the words and the phrase and everything like that. So if you wanna stick around, I'll show you right now how you can make a puzzle like this. First thing you wanna do is go to puzzlemaker.com. This is where you're gonna make the actual puzzle uh, before you bring it over to Jamboard. So come here and then you're gonna click on the one that's called double puzzle. You type in a uh, title, all the words that you wanna have jumbled up right here and then a phrase that you want the words to correspond with at the end. And then you click Create My Puzzle. When you're done, what it will do is it'll come up with something like this. So I've got my uh, comida is the title of mine right here. And then I've got all my words jumbled up right here and the phrase at the bottom. So what I did was I then opened up a new uh, Google slide. I took three separate screenshots. So I took a screenshot of the first seven words here and then the next six words, and then also this uh, phrase down here at the bottom. And then I pasted them in here. So I've got one, two, three pictures that I put onto my Google slide. I added a couple, couple of um, other pictures here and then the title I put right here in the middle. So once you've done that, you're gonna go File, Download, JPEG. And that saves it to your computer. Then you're gonna jump over to Jamboard and you're gonna do Set Background. And we're doing it this way because the students won't be able to move anything that's on here. They'll just be able to add stuff to it. So I'm gonna set background, uh, click image, and then find that file on my computer that I just downloaded. And it'll look just like this. Last step is getting this to your students. What you're gonna to wanna to do is click the share button up here at the top right. Uh, right here, it's probably gonna say private when you just made it. So I'm gonna change it to anyone with the link can view. And then what I'm gonna do is click up here at the top and you can see where it says viewer right here. I'm gonna change that to copy. And then I'm gonna share this link to my students. And what will happen is when they click on it, it will make them uh, force, or it'll force a copy upon them so they will all have their own copy. If you want to work on this as a class, you could. You just have to give everybody, everybody editing privileges and then they would all um, be working on the same one at the same time. And if you want to do multiple people on one Google, I'm sorry, on one Jamboard, you could just click that little down arrow right there and then click the three dots and duplicate it. And then you'll have, you can have multiple slides with the same puzzle if that's something that you're interested in doing. And if you want to use this one, this particular puzzle, I'll go ahead and link, include the, uh, the force copy link for you in the description of the video. If you have questions, let me know. Otherwise, thanks for stopping by. See you guys in the next one. Adios.